Hello, it's Carly from Learn English with Carly and thank you in advance for joining me today and taking the time to watch this video. Please feel free to subscribe if you haven't done so already and to write a comment in the box below after watching the video to practice the idioms that I'm going to teach you today. I will reply to every message. Okay, today I'm back in Cleveland Down on a snowy day here in North Vancouver, BC, Canada. It's a little bit chilly, so I'm going to crack on today if that's okay. To crack on means to get going, to start, to begin. I'd like us to learn just four new idioms today that I've heard my family and friends using and that I wrote down so that I could share them with you. So let's get started. Idiom number one, to have the time of your life. This means to really, really enjoy yourself. Let's look at its use in different tenses and situations, remembering to change the possessive pronouns to match the subject. In the present continuous then, Chelsea is having the time of her life living in Australia. In the past, I traveled around Europe last summer and I had the time of my life. My parents had the time of their lives at that concert last night. And with a past modal verb, Mary could have had the time of her life if she'd been a bit more sociable. And in the future tense, Paul will have the time of his life at university. When do you or when have you had the time of your life? When do you think you will have the time of your life? Let me know by writing in the comments. Idiom number two to live in cloud cuckoo land. This means to believe that unrealistic ideas will happen when in fact they are probably impossible or very unlikely to happen. We usually use this when referring to other people in response to their plans or their ideas. If George thinks he's going to earn that amount of money, he's living in cloud cuckoo land. Maria is living in cloud cuckoo land if she thinks she's going to marry a millionaire. Idiom number three, to grin from ear to ear or to be grinning from ear to ear. Grin is another word for smile. So if you smile or grin widely and your smile goes from one ear to the other, then we can say that you are grinning from ear to ear. Let's check out how we can use this idiom in different tenses and situations. In the present continuous, Tim is grinning from ear to ear after getting a new job. In the simple past, the children grinned from ear to ear when school was canceled. That actually does happen here sometimes when we get too much snow and the children certainly do grin from ear to ear. Maybe the parents don't. In the past continuous, Jane was grinning from ear to ear after meeting her favourite actor yesterday. And finally today, idiom number four, a piece of cake. I love this idiom. Hopefully this video lesson has been a piece of cake for you today. If something is a piece of cake, then it means that it's really easy. That exam was a piece of cake. How was the presentation today? A piece of cake. These four idioms today are a piece of cake. So there we have it, four new idioms. Let's recap. To have the time of your life, to live in cloud cuckoo land, to grin from ear to ear or to be grinning from ear to ear, and a piece of cake. Practice pronouncing these idioms first and then see if you can understand them or hear them when you're watching something on TV, on the internet, listening to the radio, and then try to apply them to your everyday English. Let me know how you're getting on with these idioms. Before I leave you today, remember to subscribe to the channel, share, like, and comment. It's so appreciated. Before I leave you today, please enjoy this view of Cleveland Dam, and behind me is Grouse Mountain a mountain that you can go skiing and snowboarding on whilst looking at downtown Vancouver. It's a pretty cool mountain to have in a city. Enjoy, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.